Howdy folks, TJ here. Wanted to just make a quick intro for a video that I am now making. I wanted to test the solar charging capability of my two RockPal 100 watt uh, solar panels in reference to charging up a EcoFlow River Pro and an external battery. Uh, wondering if I go to the Redwoods, which is very shady, if I'm going to be able to draw any type of good wattage to keep my battery charged. Doubtful. My guess is I uh, 10 to 15 watts. And you'll see in the video that's about to come up, that's to be true. <laughs> uh, because I, be, I think in the past I've done some tests where I did a quick test and the shade kind of a cloud came over and it dropped dramatically. So I needed to come up with an idea uh, a long time ago to, well, what happens when I don't have solar capability? Well, that's where the Baja propane little generator came into play. I had some bad luck using it and testing it uh, over the weekend. I thought it would safely quick charge my River Pro. It did not. I found that it could be possibly user error. I'm not too familiar with generators in general. But I had turned it on and only let it run a minute or two and then plugged in my EcoFlow and it quickly came up with an over, uh, I forget the word, a little light that comes on and says, I'm not going to give you power anymore. Overcharge, over, whatever it is, over something. <laughs> uh, needless to say, it wouldn't charge it. So I'm all, oh crap, my whole idea of being able to quick charge off this Baja didn't work. So I posted some notes in a Facebook group. And somebody did say, you know, that strains my Baja charges my EcoFlow fine. So then I started thinking, well, you know, the propane I was using is at least five years old, the little bottle that we've had forever here at home, a couple bottles, maybe 10 years old. And I also started thinking, you know, I, I didn't run this generator too long. I only had it running for a minute or two, and maybe it wasn't running fully outright and ready to go to plug stuff in. So I thought... Add some additional oil. It's a new generator that I got, so I added a little bit more oil. Wanted to play it safe because the little bottle they sent me barely covered anything inside. So I added a little bit more oil. Bought some new propane so I know it's brand new. Plug that in. Turn it on, and it seemed like it was sputtering a little bit. It wasn't really fully running. I let it run for longer. Then all of a sudden, I hear a little click, and then it started running very smoothly. So maybe I just didn't give it enough time before. So that's what I did today. I let it run longer, uh, a few minutes this time, and when I heard things mellow out, I plugged in my EcoFlow, and I'll let the video do the, the rest of the talking, so watch the whole video. So if you're in a situation like me where you normally have plenty of solar, and you want to use the EcoFlow River Pro with an external battery, have it ready to go in a power outage to keep some stuff running, but then... All of a sudden, you don't have some good sun and you need to charge it up. What do we do? Well, that's where my idea of getting this little propane Baja will come in. Uh, I'm glad that it ended up working out okay. But watch the video. I think you'll find it fun anyway. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a cool little setup. I'm about to test it for about a two-week period of time and see how it can keep my little 12-volt fridges going for an extended period. So come back for a future video on that. Thanks for watching. Peace. Okay, I'm back. So in my garage, keeping out of the elements, I've got my R600 Pro with the extra battery. And I've got just the regular cables that came with my Rock Pals. And I've connected 200 watt panels up in parallel uh, using a this cabling that came with it, which is just Anderson cables. And then I purchased that little, and I've made a video on this already, a little adapter that went from Anderson to the XT60. And I've got that plugged in. I've been running my River Pro overnight for two days, running just off of these two batteries, a new Set Power 45 uh, fridge that I wanted to take on an upcoming trip. And um, I was curious how many days I would get just out of these two batteries. It looks like probably four. I got down to 50% battery, and it's just about 48 hours now. But So I, I wanted to do test number two. Come outside, and I've got these connected in parallel, pretty much shady conditions. What am I going to be getting? So let's check. Let's go ahead and turn on the screen. And, oh boy, I'm pulling in a massive 1415 input. I'm at 49% on the battery, as noted before. And so, yeah, right now, without uh, connecting anything to it, 
I've got 60 hours of battery life. So, yeah, I've got basically a 50% battery charge here, and I'm pulling in maybe in the conditions I'd be in the Redwoods. Maybe not as good as this. Maybe worse. I don't know. Uh, but right now, it's pretty dark. Let me just kind of pan around. Um, yeah, it's a dark, uh, cloudy day. That's where the sun kind of should be, and you'll see it's got dark clouds. So, uh, you know, maybe the ambient light of the redwoods I'd get a little bit different. But anyway, I think this is an interesting test. I'll soon see once we go camping what I'll be pulling in. But you'll see now it's dropped down. Yeah, I went down to 12 and 14. So needless to say, let's just say generically 10 to 15 watts in these type of conditions. Not too much, especially with my fridge pulling between 40 to 50 when the compressor kicks in and is running. So anyway, that's it on the test. I just wanted to kind of show you what's going on in parallel. I did run this same test with just one of these solar panels, and it was only pulling in five. So by connecting two of the panels in parallel, it definitely doubled, if not a little bit more, tripled. Uh, you know, I was getting around 15 at some point. So yeah, if you can parallel two 100-watt uh, panels together, at least you get a little something. 15 watts is better than nothing. Next test, well, I'm going to go um, see over there. I've got that uh, Baja uh, propane generator. I need to go get some oil for it, the oil that came with it. It's pretty new. was not even barely enough to cover the bottom of the dang thing, just enough to probably operate and test it. I need to go buy some more 10-weight 30, and I would like to test today a quick charge Hopefully, I can do that five to 600 watts off of that because one of the little propane canisters is supposed to give you one to two hours of runtime, and that's about what um, it takes to fully charge this up from scratch. So I'm hoping I can take that with me, the generator, and run these down, run the fridge for four days, do a quick two hours off of one propane canister with that. You can only see, uh, there's the butt of it. And I've got another little battery thing there. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. See ya. Okay, what am I doing here? Walking away. I've got it actually set up in my garage. That's the little Baja propane. I didn't have much luck with it the other day. I don't think I let it run long enough. I haven't really run this little generator too long. And I think that's why my... Um, I tried to uh, do a quick charge on it, uh, my uh, Echo Flow, Eco Flow, <laughs> and um, it kept uh, tripping it. So to this morning, I put some new oil in it, added oil actually, and put a brand new fresh propane, not an old one that's 10 years old, and uh, it's successfully now doing a fast charge on my Eco Flow. I'm going to guess I'm about 15, 20 feet, probably 20 feet away. This is the noise level doing a fast charge to my EcoFlow River Pro. I'll be quiet for a sec. The garage is probably echoing it a little bit, but if you're in a campground, nevertheless, um, I'm going to walk over here 30, 40, 50 feet, something. To... Now, you can definitely hear it, but uh, other people run generators doing a fast charge, hoping that uh, where I don't have solar, I can go ahead and run this for an hour and a half off of uh, one propane and quick charge my EcoFlow River Pro. There you go. Success. Let's go back and make sure it's still charging. Almost 600 watts. It was on 25% just 10 minutes ago. Up to 30 already. Awesome. Happy it's working.